<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video here, this is going to be a bit of a quick one, but I'm going to give you a few helpful hints that might hopefully help you out if you're running PS3 HIN on your modified PlayStation 3 and you have Multiman installed, but whenever you try to run Multiman on your PS3 HIN modified PlayStation 3, you end up running into this where you just have a black screen and you're not able to go anywhere else until you fully power down the system and turn it back on. Now when you restart your PS3, you might be familiar with that if you've been using PS3 HIN for a bit, especially compared to custom firmware since PS3 HIN by nature is going to be less stable generally than custom firmware. However, there's a few things that we can do to remedy this. First of all, it depends entirely on the version of Multiman. As you can see, this one shows MMCM right here, but it is best if you're using PS3 HIN to install the HIN specific version of it. I'll go ahead and show you over on Brewology. I'll have the link for this down below in the description, but if you come over to Multiman over here, typically the latest version is what many people might download, but if you're using PS3 HIN, I've recommended using the unofficial Multiman, which is very specific with HIN in mind. This one has a few fixes to make it a bit more stable on PS3 HIN. The version number does not matter for your firmware, you're just going to want to get this and it should hopefully work a bit better. If you don't have the unofficial Multiman or you are unsure, I can show you how to install this one. You can just click on download and save this somewhere you can easily find it. Installing this package is going to be the same as any other package file. You're going to need a USB drive that has already been formatted to FAT32 and in the root of the USB drive, you just copy and paste the package file, let it copy over. Once that's done, you can eject your USB drive and take it over to your PS3. And back over at the PS3, make sure your USB drive is detected and plugged in. And then what I generally do is completely remove Multiman. Now, if anybody is wondering what might happen to your folder-based games and ISO-based games on here, those are not going to be deleted. It's just going to be the app itself that will be deleted. But if you're unsure of your version or if you just want to do a reinstall, sometimes that can help out a bit. You can just hit the triangle button, go down to delete, and say yes. Wait for it to delete, go back, come back over to the package manager, install package files, standard, and then go ahead and install the unofficial Multiman, and wait a few moments. Once that's been installed, you can exit out of here, go down to your games, and you should see Multiman. Now, as long as PS3 HIN is installed, you can go ahead, tap Multiman, and give it a few moments to load. Now, as you can see, this was able to work on the first go here because we were able to get these messages. So I'm going to say yes to these. It's going to install the MMCM data and it should do a soft reboot of Multiman here. And in a few moments, we should be greeted with our XMB. Now, if you've done all of that and you're still having black screen issues, which require you to restart your PS3 and re-enable PS3 HIN, there is one more fix that you can try. And you're going to look right here because you might have something called webman mod installed which if you do nothing wrong with that it's actually a great addition for the playstation 3. however it seems to work a little better with the dynamic fan control on custom firmware as opposed to ps3 hen when it comes to app stability so this would be a change you need to make within webman and this would be changing the fan speed itself what you can do is go over to webman games go into the webman setup go into PS3 Webman setup yet again, and wait for this page to load up. Now once it comes over here, what you can do is disable the dynamic fan control. Now do keep in mind here, this is going to depend on what system you might have. Some systems are going to run hotter than others, so I personally have a PS3 Super Slim, meaning that my system already runs pretty cool and it stays pretty quiet for the most part. So I'm not too concerned about this, but dynamic fan control can cause some issues in terms of app stability, most notably those multi-man black screens. Screens. So what you can do is disable enable fan control and it might automatically default over to system controller which just means it's going to be the regular stock fan setup on there. If you want to set your fan at a manual speed you can enable a manual fan speed at 35% something like that is fine although it will be louder but disabling dynamic fan control has helped out quite a bit. Once that's done you can come down to save wait for the changes to save 
and then restart your PlayStation 3. Once that's been saved, the change has been made, and your console has been restarted, go ahead and go through the process yet again of enabling PS3 Hen, and you should notice that the fan speed will either be at the speed you set it to, or it will be at the default stock speed. Now what you can do to check this out is come back over to Multiman, fire it up, and give this a shot. And as you can see, here we go. The first time around, we were able to boot up into Multiman successfully, because typically disabling dynamic fan control is what is able to help out. Now if you really rely on that dynamic fan control, you could always go back in and enable it, and maybe just try and use Multiman sparingly, but if you're really heavily relying on it, Again, maybe use a manual fan speed, or just make sure your system has been cleaned, repasted, and you're using the system controller fan. Although typically, for myself, I usually use that dynamic fan control on my consoles just to keep them nice and cool. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. Hopefully this video helped you all out, and hopefully your multi-man is giving you less black screens on PS3 Hen. That's about it for this video though. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this and it helped out, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too.